Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for checking out today's video. Um, so we are going to dive through my empties of hair, skin, body care. It's been a while. I couldn't tell you the last time we went through this stuff together. So there's um, a very interesting uh, combination of items in here. And yeah, we're just going to get into it. I apologize, uh, my hair's a bit insane. I just came in from, um, it's raining, and uh, I had an umbrella, but my hands were too full. So, uh, yeah, my hair is no longer straight, and I look a bit wild, but y'all don't care. That's why, that's why I love you guys. So let's just jump on in, shall we? Okay, first up, I finished up the Redken Extreme Shampoo Fortifier for Distressed Hair. I think I'm still working on the conditioner. Pretty sure I opened the shampoo because I just wanted another shampoo in the shower. I usually have two going at the same time and then usually two or three conditioners, masks, whatever that I rotate. So this is a very, it says it has a protein complex. This is a very rich, creamy, moisturizing type shampoo, which I love. Um, but I like to also, like every other wash or so, use something a little more clarifying or like deep cleaning. So I've been using head and shoulders like every other wash just because I like how clean head and shoulders makes my hair feel. I've never had dandruff, that's not been an issue for me, but I just like head and shoulder shampoo. I think it's a little harsh to use maybe all the time, especially for curly hair, but um, this was a great um, shampoo to use in addition to the head and shoulders. I got this in a two pack for a really good price. Um, I tend to stock up on my like higher end um, hair care favorites. Um, I order them online from Chatters here in Canada. I wait for a really good sale, usually in the spring, and uh, spend like a hundred bucks, and that's my hair stuff for the year. And we're into spring now, and honestly, I still have a good amount of hair products. <sighs> my apologies, that was Can you tell that I live in the core of a city? Yeah, it sounds like fire trucks. I should have closed everything up, I apologize. Wow. I hope everybody's safe, I hope everybody's okay. This sounds pretty bad. I live right near a, uh, I'm like a block away from a fire station. So I'm used to this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep going or this video is gonna be forever. I wish I knew how to edit these videos, guys. I actually did take some time. Is that the fire truck right outside? I'm debating if I should just stop filming this video or keep going, because it just, the noise is just a little much today. Anyway, uh, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, pretty sure I still have the conditioner that matches this, either in the shower or it's probably in the shower. Um, hand soaps, I got through. <laughs> um, I have, So I had two Happy Easter soaps in my collection. And when I hauled these, I had ordered them online so I didn't smell them. And then when I got them and I hauled them with you guys, I was kind of disappointed in the scent. Um, but I'm happy to report when it's one of those scents that is very underwhelming when you smell it in the pump, but on your skin on dry down, this is amazing. Is it like a tutti-frutti candy? Yeah, not so much, but 
Um, so I finished this. I have the other one still in my bathroom. I might close it up for next Easter because this is the kind of stuff I like to have out when my nieces and nephews come to visit. So I might put the rest of that one away, but I would actually totally repurchase this just because, yeah, it wasn't much, you know, when I smell it in the jar, but but for some reason on my skin, it's, it's, it smells totally different and it smells wonderful. Really cute packaging. Love the color of the pump, all the things. Also used up Blueberry Bellini. You guys know I tend to stick to the foaming hand soaps. This was delicious. This is a very, um, it's a sweet blueberry, but n different than the blueberry sugar scent for those of you that remember that one. It's different than that. I would say this is better. Loved this, would absolutely repurchase. I do tend to love blueberry, blue raspberry, the fruity stuff, you guys know that. Amazing. And then I was getting so low in my hand soap stash. Now, I, I mean, I kid you not when I say I have one hand soap left in my um, like cupboard. And then I had half, this was half gone from Halloween, um, Ghoul Friend. So I pulled it out because I was that desperate. Uh, ghoul Friend, isn't that strawberry something? Wow, this is really hard to read. Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peony, Spine Chilling Citrus. I need to sneeze and I'm trying not to. Um, yeah, this is like a sweet floral strawberry. I don't usually dig the florals, but I do like this. So I used it up basically out of desperation because I need hand soap like bad. Um, usually I have like a stash of like five to 12 at a time or more. I am like, I need hand soap. Anyway, I've just been waiting for a good sale. I will not pay four or five dollars for a freaking hand soap. I finished up, I think this was my first ordinary lactic acid. I have another one open now. I use this like, I don't know, I'll be honest. I have been trying really hard to take better care of my skin since my late 30s. And now that I'm into my 40s, I don't want to say I'm slacking, but I don't have, um, I don't have like a consistent routine. I have products I like, and then it just kind of depends on, um, what I'm doing that day. If I'm going to use my PMD clean on my face, that's um, pretty exfoliating. So I'm a little gentler. The days that I don't use that, I'll probably use like a lactic acid. So this is 10% lactic acid with hyaluronic acid. Is that the AJ? Is that hyaluronic acid? I think. I'm quite sure it is. Why do they make the letters on this stuff so small? I think I need new glasses. Anyway, I do like this product. Uh, it took a little bit for my skin to get used to. This does tend to make my skin a little bit, um, a little pink. Uh, I do have sensitive skin, but I do like this product. I can't use it all the time, but I do like it. Obviously I did repurchase because I just opened another one. I also finished the big guy, the two ounce bottle of the buffet. I got this in the two ounce at this time. I now have the one ounce in my bathroom just because I go through it so much. Um, I love the buffet. buffet. It is the one ordinary skincare product I can use on my neck without it going crazy. Any other skincare product that I try to use on my neck tends to cause like major irritation. Again, I have very sensitive skin. I'm allergic to a lot of stuff and I'm finding as I get older, I'm becoming more sensitive to things, more, I'm suffering with more allergies. I'm de developing allergies. It's a whole, I could have a whole video about that. But anyway, um, yeah, so finished up the two ounce. I'm very generous with this stuff, too much so and I just opened the one ounce. I didn't get another two ounce because it was out of stock. And because these products don't last forever and when you open them, you only get like six or 12 months depending on the product. For those of you who don't know, there's a little code. 
Oh, it's going to be backwards for you. Sorry, guys. But there's a little code that shows like a container open with a number. So basically, once this is open, and this is the lactic acid box, so specifically this, the, lact the lactic acid, this is 12 months. So once you open this, you have 12 months to use it before it loses efficacy. Um, I'm pretty, I'm very generous when I use um, moisturizing products, skincare products, probably wastefully so. But because I am that way, I don't usually have to worry about that being an issue because I'll use things up, you know, way faster than, um, than that amount of time. Oh, this says right on the jar 12 months. So this one also you get one year. I think it's the retinol I use that's less than that. I think it's six months you get. Um, this was a, a Sephora sample, a sample that I got from Sephora. Um, in an order. It is the Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. Say that five times fast. I got one good generous use out of this and yeah it was a good moisturizer. I'm sure it's super expensive and it's probably way more than I would ever spend. I finished up. This has been probably my favorite hair serum that I've ever used. Having said that, I have one left and I'm, I've kind of stopped using it. The Nanatsu, I get this from Amazon. Um, actually, I tried this because of one of my favorite YouTubers who was raving about the Nanatsu brand and particularly this elixir. Because it's not a serum, it's an elixir, which means it actually should have some healing properties. When my hair was bleached and breaking off and falling out and scaring me, this kept it, I think it just prevented it from being a lot worse than it was. So this, again, I was getting them off Amazon, protection and deep repair, reparation. So it's supposed to repair your hair and protect from future damage. Every once in a while, so this is obviously empty, I have one left. Every once in a while now, I will put it on like, the bottom eight inches of my hair the night before I'm gonna wash it. I don't do that very often because I just don't think to do it. But now that my hair is getting longer and I'm letting it go kind of natural, I'm not straightening it all the time. <sighs> Aside from I cut myself some bangs, um, so I have to straighten those. But my hair's actually, it can be very curly. <laughs> this is slept on, so it's it's the curls are kind of gone, but so for example, yesterday morning, got up, had a shower and just straightened the bangs before work and just left it, left the rest of my hair. Took five minutes and it just dries curly and cute. And I'm just learning to love my texture for the first time in my life. <laughs> I'm not fighting it right now. I'm just trying to, for the first time ever, I'm trying to enjoy what I have so that I don't destroy my hair anymore. I spent, you know, 20, 25 years going against my hair, fighting it, fighting the texture, fighting the color, you know, I'm not going to lie. I miss, I miss having the fun colors. I miss being blonde. I was blonde most of my life. Um, but I love how low maintenance my hair is now, how healthy it is now. And I'm learning that I'm actually pretty lucky in that I can wash my hair in the shower in the morning and just let it air dry and it looks good because I take care of it. So it doesn't dry super frizzy. It just gradually dries over the next couple of hours really curly, sometimes more curly than others, depending on my the conditioner I use. But um, yeah, so I just find products like this. I don't really need them anymore. So if anything, it almost makes my hair look weighed down and greasy. And I have fine hair. I've been told my whole life that I have fine hair, but a lot of it. I still have fine hair. I don't have as much of it. Um, as I've gotten older, um, right around age 39, 40, I really started noticing my hair thinning. So I've made a lot of adjustments and this is one of them. I will absolutely use up the one I have. This is a freaking great product. I don't know what it costs now, but I can tell you it wasn't cheap more than what I would normally spend, but it's because it's reparative, not just, you're not just coating your hair in oil. 
you know this is actually supposed to improve the the health of your hair and it i do believe it does i just don't really need that so much anymore and it's causing more um like if i use it anywhere near my, my bangs they look greasy and if i use it on my ends um it just starts looking a little bit weighed down and i just don't need that anymore so if your hair is in need of repair, highly recommend. I, th I don't think I'll repurchase at this point just because I don't really need it anymore. My hair's changed so much. This also was a sample that I received from Solora, Sephora. I selected it in my last order as well. This is like a sample size of the Sol de Janeiro. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm gonna say Beja Flor. It was definitely floral. It, it wasn't what I thought it was. So Sol de Janeiro has a few fragrances now. And the ones I have smelled, I loved. There's another one that's in a pinkish um, package. It's more of like a bright pink. That's what I thought this was. I love the smell of that. My niece has that. So that's how I know it smells good. And the original I like as well. Um, and then I got this, opened it up. I was like, mm, it's a different pink. It's a bit lighter. I should have known by the name Beha Floor, because floor I'm assuming is flower. This was very floral. Amazing quality product. Love these creams. Insanely overpriced. Absolutely would not repurchase that scent. Um, probably will never purchase a Sol de Janeiro um, body cream just because of the price. Oh, I do love their scents though. There's been a few times I've been shopping on Sephora and thought, maybe I'll just get myself one of like the little sprays just because they smell so good. But I don't wear the scented perfumes and body sprays I have now most of the time. So I just, I don't have any business buying any more of that stuff. Um, finished up a Bath and Body Works 24 hour ultra shea in wrapped in sugar soft marshmallow. I got this, I think it was either at like an SAS or I don't know. This is a scent that I don't remember being like a big deal. Uh, I just remember loving the packaging and the name wrapped in sugar. And it's funny because I didn't notice that it said soft marshmallow underneath until I got it home. And then when I started using it, I was like, I, I don't love this. <laughs> it's not what I, okay. It smells like, it smells like something else that I've had from BBW. I get like a coconut custard that's what this smells like to me scent notes if there are in here oh that makes sense coconut martini marshmallow musk and soft amber mm -hmm. gourmand lovers would love this wouldn't repurchase that scent um the last cream i got through and you can tell i love this one because i don't always cut them up to get, you'll notice I didn't cut this up to get the last little bit out of it. But of course, my beloved pink watermelon. I'm working on another one of these right now. I'm also warming this wax. Pink watermelon is just bomb. Juicy watermelon, pink petals, dewy aloe. It's just super sweet watermelon candy. And that's all I've ever wanted to smell. <laughs> I kid you not, 20 years ago, I was buying candles. They, it's a brand called Candy Candles, if any of you have ever heard of them. I think you can still get them in some places, but there was a, they were all like berry, melon, fruity, candy scents. My vibe. 20 years ago, I was buying these candy watermelon candles. Like this has been, it's just, I'm surprised I'm not sick of it. <sighs> so good. And then last but not least, I finally finished up. This was a couple of years old, so it needed it needed to end. <laughs> a BBW um, bubble bath, a luxury bubble bath. Warm vanilla sugar. I think that's it. I don't think I have. Oh, I'm lying. I have a little bit of black chamomile bubble bath left, I think. But other than that, yeah, this I'm quite sure I got from an SAS. Bath & Body Works doesn't have a whole lot of bubble bath options. So sometimes I do use shower gel as bubble bath. Warm vanilla sugar, actually, uh, that smells a lot like this, if I'm being honest. Um, intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, oh! Oh, 
I thought there was orchid in this. There's not. And sparkling sugar. Yeah. This is um this is a classic. People love this scent. It's not one of my favorites. I like it. It's okay. Yeah. And then last but not least, oh, and this is my last in my collection of this in the shower gel. I don't think I have any left. I think I have like one or two body creams left in this. So if it comes back this summer SAS, which I'm sure it will, I'll probably stock up black raspberry vanilla. Bath and Body Works be black raspberry vanilla. I've loved since I'm pretty sure I remember it coming out. I'm pretty sure I remember it being released. Loved it, obsessed, but I was super allergic to it. Every single time I used it, I would sneeze all day. <laughs> but I just loved it so much that I would suffer through, which is ridiculous. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem to do that to me anymore. I do believe that if you expose yourself to something enough, your body kind of doesn't react as much. In my experience, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't react that way anymore when I use this. Scent notes, fresh raspberries, vine ripen ripened blackberries, cashmere wood. Funny that there's no vanilla in the scent description. Oh. It is so like rich, sweet, dark berry. One of my all time favorites. I'm I'm very much savoring the body cream for this right now. Um, and that's that. That's my bin. <sighs> 21 minutes. Not too shabby, because I'm gonna show you. This was a lot of stuff. I think it's been a while since I have filmed one of these. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna try to make a thumbnail without dropping all of this. All right, that's that. Um, I think I'll probably upload this video first. You can expect home fragrance empties from me. And then, spoiler alert, there is a haul coming. No surprise, um, but stay tuned. Actually, I might post that first. I think I will. I think I'll post the haul first. No, that'll confuse you guys because of what I talked about in this video. I'll figure it out. Leave it to me. Sorry, I'm a hot mess. Just is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any upcoming content. Thanks so much. Y'all are the best. Until next time, I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye.